Are you struggling with golden items in D4? Well, you can always throw your wallet against the wall. Use my code for a discount. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. So today we are gonna have a look at my season 5 theory craft for the flight build and why I think it's still gonna be the king of barbarian builds for super high pit push. Now the king of barbarians for like the general use and for most people is still in my opinion gonna be whirlwind because it's just so much fun so much fun to look at so much fun to play it's so fast it works in you know everything that most people are interested in hell tides you know it will definitely be awesome in the new infernal hordes because it has just so much aoe you know and yeah it's so much fun it's easy to build but for super super high pit push for the one percent people probably who enjoy that it is gonna be fly and now a lot of people might think okay but we got our vulnerable you know capped through like the, the legendary node hemorrhage right um so we got nerfed a lot so why do you think it's still gonna be the king and the answer is pretty simple now this is not the final version of the items maybe it is but we don't know yet because they are only on ptr and a lot of stuff might still change before we get the actual release but with the new items shark of Verathiel, okay which gives us not only not only 300 percent multiplicative damage increase but it also gives us insane amounts of attack speed. If we get the GA there, then it's almost 50%, meaning that we really don't even have to play any attack speed on our build. We don't need to play rapid, and we will still have the same or even a tiny bit higher attack speed than we are playing right now. It gives us the skills to basic. You know, it's absolutely insane, and it makes our basic skill spend resource okay and that synergizes so well with another new item and that's the crown of lucian or lucian i don't know <laughs> because that helmet whenever we spend our primary resource on a skill which will now be play it will give us 25 percent increased damage and increased resource cost okay but at the same time it also gives us reduction to the resource cost so if our flay as you can see here on the tooltip will now cost 25 while still generating 15 we will never lose a single fury why well it's simple right if it costs 25 and there's a 75 percent cost reduction then we are at six fury that uh, flay is gonna cost right and now we multiply it by two 0.25 which is the 125 percent it will cost extra because of the lucent helmet right and we are at 14 meaning that we will be generating more fury than uh, not than that <laughs> that it will cost us so we were non-stop v at 100 percent fury which is good for our edge masters for our adaptability aspect and all that so that's an absolutely absolutely bonkers synergy now what do we do with the rest of our gear and affixes well rage of harrogate will remain the same we need it to keep on resetting our cooldowns right our gloves are pretty much the same as well but we no longer have temper for berry generation because flay duration was moved from our weapons to our armory so this slot now belongs to flay duration and on one of the items can be gloves can be your one hand weapon doesn't matter we are also playing ga vulnerable okay so that we precisely hit precisely hit the 45 percent cap for hemorrhage right we will play conceited aspect because you know we are playing iron skin so that is up pretty much at all times and we are going for tempers that are crit strike damage of course and of course <laughs> again we are maxing out on crit strike chance for our gushing wounds right so like the general idea does not change then for our pants again playing the same stuff imposing presence flight duration instead of barrier we are going for the flay ranks for resistances to all elements and just a normal armor to reach the cap 
the aspect here is iron warrior to proc uh with our iron skin then for our boots once again nothing really changes apart from changing the barrier to fly duration the aspect is also the same which is hectic and then when we move onto our weapons you can see that instead of getting vulnerable ethics i went for damage over time it can be flat damage as well because flat damage is double dipping and has been since season zero um but maybe it's just the just us well not anymore rogue players who knew about it because yeah since s0 it has been double dipping for all the damage over time effects um for rogue so i like i said like i suspect that it was the same for every other damage over time effect because we still had items that gave us flood damage like like doom Ringer, but otherwise no one really had access to it right but the rogues also had it in their paragon board so that's why we knew so either flood damage for the double dip but that might eventually get fixed so i went for damage over time and now a lot of people might be asking why not crit strike damage bro like crit strike damage for our gushing wounds is gonna give us the multiplier and everything well as i always say if you multiply poop by poop it is still gonna be poop right we lost like 1000 additives from the bucket of our to, to boost our base damage before all the multipliers by losing the vulnerable we need to replace that otherwise the damage that we do and then multiply through gushing wounds will be too small for gushing wounds to really take its full effect so we need to fill that additive bucket and i went for damage over time there everything else is the same we are triple critting here on crit strike damage um and on the two hander we are playing pressure point again a lot of people might be asking bro like why the hell would we, would we play pressure point well it's easy right what pressure point does is that we have a lucky hit chance that our core skills and weapon mastery skills have a huge chance 60 percent here to make enemies vulnerable that will completely because of course rupture is a weapon mastery skill remove the need in aoe to use steel grasp for reapplying vulnerable just by spamming uh rupture we will have all enemies non-stop non-stop vulnerable which also means that we will only only use the steel grass to move enemies to kite them you know or to bring back the enemies that are teleporting like like the vampires right now we made the enemies unstoppable pretty quickly right because we kept on using it even when standing stationary and just you know like fighting 12 elites or something you know we kept using steel grasp to reapply vulnerable and if one of the mobs jumped away then we had no way of bringing it back if it became unstoppable due to using the steel grass and the pull you know a lot plus of course the slow that our bleeds do right like all of these are cc's so by you know making all the enemies vulnerable just through rupture we will have enemies unstoppable later which will make us not only safe animation on the steel grass which is pretty slow um and that will give us more damage right because we won't have to use it it will also make us go faster so that's absolutely insane 100 we are going to be playing this on the two-hander like like this like today you know my wife asked me to go and cook and so i did i mean it got lost in the tr translation that she meant an actual food and i was talking about d4 builds but you know it is what it is <laughs> anyway so this is it for the two-handed mace and the aspects still the same moonrise right then on our uh other one-hander because i already showed you the unique that we are playing uh so on our other one hander we are following the same rules strength max life damage over time and here we are going for rupture size which will further help us do damage in the aoe and make sure that all of the enemies are getting hit by the rupture explosion and also getting vulnerable the aspect here is inner calm then we are still playing polearm now grandfather unless it gets buffed 
to the one i mean to 200 percent damage increase like i'm pretty sure it's still not gonna outperform pole arms especially against the boss because against the boss the 200 sword expertise pretty much does nothing unless you're constantly killing mobs which we are not because we don't want to be using you know rupture like non-stop against the bosses because it would remove the bleeding effects from them right then yeah it does nothing but pole arms are a non-stop now with the boost to executioner which is now 15 percent it's a non-stop 30 percent increased damage okay so pole arms you know with all of that with you know giving us way more additives than um that grandfather because crit strike damage is not an additive it's a stat that multiplies our damage through gushing wounds but does nothing for our base damage right so getting extra additives extra strength you know on the pole arm is in my opinion definitely definitely gonna be better you know we will need to we will need some giga chats you know to put it on the paper and calculate this you know on like 0.001 percent precision but uh yeah just common sense you know just uh base math like this is this is you know a winner pole arms are a winner especially because they now gives us vulnerable damage instead of damage to injured which will further help us reach that perfect cap of 45 percent for a hemorrhage and i chose to play edge master here as an aspect then for our rings still kind of the same thing uh but we are playing crit strike damage here instead of the instead of the vulnerable right because we already reached the cap just with this ga the gems and the pole arm right so we no longer want it on our rings so we will go either for crit strike damage or once again for damage over time we will see how much damage over time we will actually need for our in our base bucket for uh crit strike damage to have the best synergy for the highest possible damage right on all of the jewelry we are going for war cry cooldown reduction we want war cry uh uptime to be 100 percent on one ring we are master working on damage while berserking once and then crit strike chance and on the other we are going all in on crit strike chance right uh the aspects here are ball chieftain and went on the rupture went on the rupture got buffed as well so that is further increase to our damage in single target so yeah we got nerfed a little but we got so many extra multiplicatives and you know so many extra buffs like the like the venton rupture aspect that we are actually gonna be doing more damage more damage than we are doing right now and then on our amulet crit strike chance as always and then any combination of heavy handed and cut to the bone uh doesn't matter how you master work these but just master work you know these passives uh as i said warcry cooldown reduction everywhere and the aspect here is adaptability so this will be like the like the maximum maximum damage that we can squeeze out the skill tree remains the same like absolutely the same we now have more points in flay thanks to thanks to the shard of veratil like these items like these uniques like day one will be 60 billion no one will be able to get them unless you spend ten thousand dollars on it <laughs> or just loot it um but yeah everything everything else stays exactly the same so yeah we are taking the imposing presence for the extra life which further increases our barrier right because it's based on our life uh we are taking the vigor 4dr iron skin of course challenging shout maxing out on war cry and the mighty war cry for 45 uh maxing out on the duration uh of our shouts and even more dr through guttural yell more dr again aggressive resistances simply the exact same stuff right maxing out on all the multiplicatives to our damage while also taking all of the defensives that we can get and of course ending with gushing wounds which turns our crit strike damage uh into multiplier then when we look at the paragon board we are no longer playing exploit as you can see once again we already reached the cap 
We don't need exploit, not even to proc vulnerable against enemies in AoE. Like, we already have all the enemies vulnerable at all times, thanks to playing pressure point, right? Plus, of course, we still have the steel grasp if we need to. So we are just going for Executioner in the first board, going up to Carnage, where we are taking Revenge, which works with our Rage of Harrogate, the further gives us more damage, right? Of course, we are playing the Carnage Legendary Note for attack speed. Then we are going up and taking Bonebreaker, again for the sweet extra life here, all the free DR we are getting, and the Glyph is Ref, Crit Strike damage, you know, that's what we want. Then we are going back down and from Carnage we are pathing left and taking Decimator with Might. Taking all of the nodes around here that the Might is boosting for more DR, more vulnerable to reach the cap. You know, obviously the damage increase from the Might itself. Pathing up for Decimator. Uh, we are taking even more HP everywhere around. Then we are going up, taking Blood Rage to turn all of our Zerking additive into multiplicative through the legendary node. We are playing Marshall to again boost all the surrounding nodes, gives us more DR and give us, of course, CDR for our Iron Skin so that the uptime is really, really huge, especially because of the conceded aspect that gives us more damage while the barrier is up. And we are ending the board with our all-time favorite hemorrhage, where we are, we are playing Ire. Now that we got rid of Exploit, it is very, very worth it to put Ire back on our Paragon board for that extra DR once again to precisely reach the 300 damage while Berserking cap. And because Hemorrhage board is just absolutely awesome, it's another 12% DR, which we want and love, and a lot of uh, a lot of extra additives that we are getting around here we might reposition some of the points to be able to reach the dexterity nodes as well or we can just reach that with the soothing uh not soothing sorry a chorus of war incense which for super high pit push we do want to play uh the ancient times incense for the strength chorus of war for all stats um and soothing spices of course to reach the resistances cap now i almost never go for resistance cap through the board because that will just make us waste points on one of the most useless boards for our builds at this point right like if we're playing a build that relies on extra fury then sure we are ta taking warbringer note but for anything else for anything else it's just a waste of points so these like six percent that we are gonna be missing like for pit 100 it doesn't matter i like at this moment i'm even farming with like 59 like some random gear I, like it doesn't matter it doesn't do damage like i mean it does but everything dies so fast before it can even touch you that yeah we are not uh losing any hp so for super high pit push uh pit push we just play suiting spices and uh yeah maybe like maybe the season will also give us some seasonal powers which will further uh change the build but right now i am pretty confident pretty confident apart from like the perfect ratio between the damage over time and crit strike damage you know between the additive and multiplicative buckets i am like 99.9% .9 sure that this is the best build we will be able to play at least for fly and I think Flay will be number one. <laughs> so thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Ciao.